Welcome to Morrison Madness. I'm I'm hopefully the majority of that will get edited out because that was painful. It was not painful. I'm Don. That's Lachelle. Or painful. However, whatever you want to refer to her as. So today we're going to talk to you about the benefits of ivermectin. Of what? No. <laughs> <clears throat> What? If you own a horse farm, it's good stuff. Uh, no? No. Metronidazole? No. Huh. It's good for fishes. How is it good for fish? When they get parasites, you use metronidazole to treat them. Did not know that. Yep. Or you can use, depending on the type of parasite that they have, you can use methylene blue or malachite green, but that turns the water funny colors, and you got to be careful how much of it you use. But like if they have flukes which are worms on the outside of their body. Horns? Flukes, which are worms. Worms. That are on the outside on the of the outside. body. Right, they I get in horns. through the scales. They're not internal. Gotcha. And then those worms absorb the malachite green or the methylene blue. And and then they, they die from it? Right. The worms do. Yep. But the fish are fine. Unless you put too much in. It's, mm. a, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Between poison and medicine, it's a fine line. Well, that's true for most things, isn't it? Not for me. No. To, uh, a little bit of you goes a long way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So are we talking about fish at this podcast? No. Oh. What, is that, what, is, what are we talking I wanna about? I want to talk more about what do you mean a little bit of me goes a long way. A little bit of you goes a really long way. I, I feel like all of me is what you get every day all the time. Which is why a little bit of you goes a long way. <laughs> It's true. It's yes. You are who you are and you don't you don't tend to change upon the situation, which is called code switching in most situations. So like cuz my personality fits in every situation. I don't know that I would agree with that. But Name one where it doesn't. Church. So <laughs> I've been to church. Yes, and you do behave slightly differently at church. You actually sit down and, and don't say things all the time out loud you might say them in your head <laughs> i say things not in the same way you you install a filter when you're in church which is a good thing i'm respectful of other people's yes other people are there I'm enjoying not talking it about and being disrespectful and it's the funny little quips that you just con your brain just constantly goes and that's what's happening you've learned not to say them out loud in a place like church and sometimes like in speaker sessions, like when I'm at a speech or something that way for school or what have you, you, you have, have gotten better at not. I didn't grow up learning to say things like, and also with you. <laughs> but it's not just a matter of that. <laughs> when somebody says, may the force be with you, you don't say, and also with you. Yes, I do. You say, may the force be with you. <laughs> No, no, it's really hard for me to do that. I, I do. I want to say, and, and also with you, it, that's the Lutheran upbringing right there. Yeah, see, but, I wasn't raised that way. We didn't have the the mantra and the chanting and the and monkism or whatever. I don't even know what the hell you call all that stuff. What do you call that? I don't know. There's a word for it. It could be. How do you not know that? You're, you I have a know. PhD in something. You're supposed to know stuff. I, because I am terrible with vocabulary and All you right. know this. You we'll are the walking dictionary. Oh, that's one of the things that we want to do sometime for a podcast. <clears throat> oh, we should do that next time. What? We're going to open up the dictionary app and we're going to go through the day of the word of the days from the past several weeks and have Don come up with his own definitions. Because that's a, this is one of the things that we have done in the past. Like in the, our morning routine, when we sit down and we have our coffee and we kind of plan our day. I have a notification on my phone for the word of the day. And a lot of times I will open that up and I will tell you the word of the day. And then you tell me what the definition is, which is usually never correct. That's well, not true. I probably get half of them. Not quite. Because they're, they're usually pretty obscure words. But you do get quite a few of them right. Way more than what most people probably do unless you're an English major and you are all about the dictionary. But yes. And so, but the, the definitions that you come up with that are not correct are hilarious. And so we had talked about doing a podcast of that at some point just because we can. This dictionary ain't no fictionary. <laughs> that. Those kinds of quips, that's the stuff that you wouldn't, like, when 
somebody is giving a lecture, whether it's in church or at an educational situation. Oh, I don't say them out loud. I might Correct. say them quietly to you. Yes, but well, it used to be that you just said them loud enough that everyone around you could hear them. Well, that's before I cared that my wife was trying to get an education and better herself. <laughs> I don't want to screw so things up for you. you don't do them for you. You do them for me. <laughs> no, I'm saying I don't want to screw things up for you. I don't want people to... I don't give a shit if people judge me. They do. <laughs> I know they do. But the majority of people who actually meet me and get to know me... Yes. They all say, our first impression of you was not a good impression. You're completely not who we thought you were. Everybody always thinks I'm this mean, yes. mad, angry, grumpy... Well, but a lot grumpy. of times, the way that you end up meeting people, especially right now, is that they're coming up and asking you to, like play a specific song when you are not supposed to take requests at a wedding. But even when we were going lines. to functions at the university, then right. I'm quiet and reserved and, right. you know, standoffish and whatever. Right. Because I'm not trying to and you have, stand in your spotlight. You have RBF face, so, it, yes, it's... One. Really beautiful features? <laughs> yes, really beautiful features. <laughs> uh, resting B face, and so, and when you're trying to be serious that's even more so that it just kind of has that look and so then people think you're grumpy and you're not grumpy you're just trying to be calm and not goofy and then it comes across as your face is not happy <laughs> and once i tell people that you that's are... my secret i have resting bitch face <laughs> <laughs> once i tell people that you're a 12-year-old stuck in an adult body and really you're goofy as can be and you just just give them a hard time and it will be fine. And then people are like, really? And I'm like, no, really. Just give them a hard time. It's fine. Then they, they will start picking on you or whatever. And then that 12-year-old comes out because then you realize you can kind of open up a little nah, bit nah, more. Nah, I'm it, glue. You're, you're blue? Glue. Oh, you're glue. I said it wrong, though. I'm rubber. You're glue. Right. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm glue. Everything you say sticks on me. Uh, so, but yes, a little bit of you goes a long way. That, see, I, we shouldn't have gone down this topic because that's like, just mean. We should have just stuck to stuck ticking, talking about stuck <laughs> I've, to Iver, sticking, to talking about TikTok ivermectin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in the, a lot of ways, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you have that. <clears throat> excuse me, you have that personality of being able to. Did I tell you that Milwaukee has a, a electric mower now? That my batteries fit that's coming out. I'm so no. excited. I don't know how much it costs, but I want one. <laughs> Justin sent me a message. <laughs> okay. Uh, that. I'm sorry. What were you talking about? I don't remember. This is, this is what happens. Just so you know, in our world, we will have a conversation. And then in the middle of the conversation, Don has a totally different thought process and blurts it out and totally derails the conversation. What were we talking about? But then I oh. don't have to get the carburetors fixed on all the damn mowers anymore. I don't have to worry about hauling gas around. Yes, but then you're going to want 12 of these electric mowers. And no, then you're going to want a whole bunch of batteries, too. How many, how many push mowers do we currently have? How many of them start? How many push mowers do we currently have? If we only had one push mower, you'd only have one that needed to get fixed every so often. Or okay, this is a trick question. Every year. This is a trick How question. How many push mowers do we have? At this house? How many push mowers do we own in total? All together? All together. Ten. Ten! When did we get ten? How did we get ten? I had one when we got married. I had one push mower. We still should have that push mower, and that one should still work. It does, except the carburetor needs cleaned on it, and it won't start. And I don't, I'm not a carburetor guy, and your dad doesn't come and visit anymore. My dad showed you how to clean a carburetor. I know, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> You're not very good <laughs> at it. Oh, so how did we end up with 10? Do I want to know how we ended up with 10? Well, when people, when we had the other property, when it was a rent house before the boys moved over there, when people would move out, they would leave their mowers. Oh, so we inherited some. Yes. How many of them did we just pick up as free on the side of the road? Two. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then when we had the other house where the person, where we had to get the police involved because they had a meth lab in the other house. Yeah, the one that you co-owned with your mom. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he had a bunch of mowers. And out of all of those mowers, we ended up with some that actually worked. Huh. And the rest we just took to the 
scrap and, mower. And we have a riding mower. We did have two, but I think one of those has now gone to your mom. Yes. And we have a half acre lot yard in town. Just under a half acre, yeah. Under a half acre. And we have 10 push mowers. Of course we do. This is, you can't take the farm out of the boy. <laughs> take the boy off the farm, but you can't take the farm out of the boy. <laughs> Which is why, after your dad passed away, the tractor that you guys oh, had Oh, and been, that, that's where we got two mowers from. It was from your dad. And when, when the he passed away and the, the tractor that you guys had been fixing up for as a parade tractor didn't have a place to live anymore, you decided to try and park it in our front yard. It was pretty. In the middle of Iowa City. It was pretty. The city was not happy. The city was fine with it. It's neighbors that call and complain about stupid ass shit. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not stupid. <laughs> we really the tractor was have... perfectly fine there until somebody called the city. As long as nobody calls the city, it's fine. Oh, okay. In any case, I think the city still doesn't appreciate it. The neighbors definitely didn't appreciate a one, tractor. One neighbor. One neighbor. In any case. Yes. And it wasn't a case. It was a farmall. It, true. It was a farmall. But back to a little of you goes a long way. There's a good side to that in the idea that when we are out at events or in groups of people or what have you, you have a way of being able to liven up the party in any way because you have all those crazy side thoughts. and It's called tequila. No, it's not called tequila. <laughs> you can be perfectly sober. You are now, I believe. And you're still. I say this tequila, way. but it's snowshoes. I don't even drink tequila. You don't do. Yeah, you don't drink tequila. Like, I'll do a tequila shot. They're great, but yeah, snowshoes. You're, n- That's you're what... not a tequila drinker. That's not your drink of choice. But in any case, yes. And it, you're, you just are constantly on the go. And there's you, nobody can keep up with the way that your brain works, which confuses people and makes it funny. I just walk away and let you go. I just, at some point, I just, I have lost control of the circus. And no longer claim those monkeys. <laughs> monkeys? Wow. That seems mean. I can't believe you had to question just a minute ago whether or not I was sober. Orangutans? Would that be better? Because you have orangutan arms. Yeah, and I have red reddish hair. Yes, and why do you have sober? Orang- why do you have orangutan arms? How, why why do you say that? Because my arms are longer than I am tall. Which is not normal. No. No. Your arms shouldn't be. Your arms are. Your arm span be... is supposed to be how tall you are. Right. From tip to tip of your finger, right. if you spread your arms straight out across, that length is supposed to be your height. And we measured mine one time, and it's like 6'3", and I've never been that tall. No. Ever. The tallest I've ever been in my whole life at my highest height is six foot. And now because I'm old, I'm shrunk, and I'm like 5'2". You're not 5'2". 5'10". Yeah, you're 5'10". 5'10 and a half, something like that. Yeah. Sober. Can't believe you had to ask. You're... Well, sometimes you have a... I don't... I didn't know if you mixed a drink tonight or not. I didn't look to see what was in you don't your mug. You mix drinks in a coffee mug. Sometimes it's you do. It's tea. Tea and coffee go in coffee mugs. Well, sometimes you have like a, a warm... Proper fluids in a proper receptacle. Don't tell me you've never had a warm alcoholic drink. In this house. Have you? In this house. (laughs) You have, and you know you have. Yes. Sometimes a little schnapps in the hot chocolate. Right. I didn't didn't know if you had mixed yourself up something. But even if I did that, you'd know if I was sober. I mean, you can tell. Not if you've had two drinks out of a cup. I'd still be sober. Well, yes. Well, you said you weren't sure if I was sober. No, I said I didn't know if you were drinking. You used the word sober. Sober came out of your... You can't tell if I'm sober. Sober came out of your mouth. The word sober. No alcohol, period. You're still like this. (laughs) This. This right here. All the time. (laughs) I don't need alcohol to have a good time. No. But it doesn't hurt. Oh, good Lord. Neither one of us do, though. That's And that's some of the things that... People are so surprised about yes, us. Yes, everybody is like, 
at our shows. Right. People come up and, and say, you know, can we buy you a drink? And I'm like, yeah, I'll have a, you know, waterfall or a whiskey or whatever, you know. And right. then they're like, well, does Lachelle want something? I'm like, yeah, Lachelle doesn't really drink. I don't. And they're like, what? You guys do all these events in these bars? What is she, what's in her cup thing that she's got? Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew. Or, or water. W- water with the... Uh, Mio. Mio in it. Yeah. Flavoring. Really? She doesn't drink? I'm like, once in a great while, maybe once a month she'll have a drink somewhere, but no. Yeah. She's not. No. So I got to drink to make up for it. So no, yeah, you do not buy have me to too. drink to make up for. It. That is not that is not a true statement. Somebody's got to keep the bars in business. Oh, we keep just the bars doing my, in business. I'm just by doing being my civil there part. And being you <laughs> brings people in just to see the circus. That that is that is half of why people show up to our shows is to watch you as a circus. <laughs> we did have though. We've had people when we, from our Name That Tune shows and like karaoke and stuff that we, more our Name That Tune because we're talking and we'll banter like what we do here on the podcast. We'll banter during our Name That Tune shows. And we actually, shortly after we started at a couple places, we had people come up to us and say, do you script the things that you're going to say to each other for that night? And we were like, no, no, no. not at all. They're like, really? You don't, you don't script it at all? Because you guys are just on top of each other back and forth i would think that it's scripted no it's not scripted Mm-mm, nope i had one person we have no problems making fun of each other i had one person <laughs> when they after they asked me about it and i said it's not scripted at all and uh they said something about so you're telling me you just robin williams this whole thing and i said have you ever noticed sometimes lachelle just turns the mic off and walks away when <laughs> when i've reached the point where lachelle no longer can keep up and she just walks away Yes, the, none yeah. of that is. She has no idea what I'm going to say next. None. And sometimes she's afraid of what I'm going to say next. Most so times. So she just tries to shut it down and move on. Most times I'm afraid. <laughs> the other funny thing to me is every time, like when we're at a, a wedding and we meet with like the parents or the bride and groom, like right before, mm-hmm. right? We, we may have talked to them someplace. Right. Or on the phone a little bit, but normally you do most of that talking. Right. But when it's day of, I tend to do quite a bit of the talking up front just to make sure I have everything. You're double checking set. music and right. sound and all of that kind of stuff. Right, and yeah. how where they're coming from, and so I can time how much time between things. And invariably, I would say ninety percent of them, somebody in the group will say, "Do you do you work on the radio?" Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nope. Well, you have a radio voice. I'm like, if you know a radio that's hiring, yes, I will. I will come and work on the radio. Give me a call. Yeah. I will do monster truck rally announcements. I, you name it, I will do it. Right. Giant wheels, wheels, wheels. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You and you do. You have that deep voice, which is funny because when we first started doing karaoke and name that tune and stuff and you were talking into the microphone you didn't use your radio voice because everybody says i'm too freaking loud right so, so then, then i you... try to be quiet so i'm not blowing people's ears right. out but then you re- learned that we can keep the microphone quieter and you can actually talk in that radio yes. voice and get that sound quality yes and that helped quite a bit but and then supposedly somewhere around here i don't know what radio station it is i have a doppelganger on the radio station i don't know there is some lady girl woman so i don't whatever you want to call her working at a radio station somewhere semi-locally that people have asked if i'm her and i'm like no i don't work for a radio station i've never been on the radio and i may have sang in a show choir song on the radio once but i've never talked on the radio or anything that way that i can think of and no it's not me and they were like you sound exactly like her that's not a doppelganger then doppelganger would look just like you. well a radio doppelganger no, a what vocal you... imitator. Sure, it's not an imitator though. When we sound alike, naturally. It's not a doppelganger. Doppelganger is when you look alike. It can't sound <clears throat> alike too. No. Hmm. Well, they need they need a term for things that sound like other things are called rhymes, and the further apart that they sound, then they're <laughs> called near rhymes. <laughs> oh, that's not the same thing. Boat coat rhymes. But that's not sound sound quality the same. The voice is sounding the same. That that's you're splitting hairs now. words sounding the same. You're Similar. splitting hairs now. Oh, so now you're a simile. Oh, I can't keep up. It just just keeps going over and over and over. I'm not sure what to do with you. <laughs> what else do you want to 
talk about. How I don't know. Much... That's the whole thing. That's the reason why this has gone down this rabbit hole of inconsistencies here. We could not decide on what we were going to talk about tonight. Normally, we talk about what we're going to talk about, but we don't script it. We just decide on a topic. We we have a topic. And I wanted to talk about ivermectin, and you were against it. Yes, because I don't want to get down a whole political rabbit hole of any kind. I'm of talking about horses on a farm. I I don't want to talk about horses on a farm. <laughs> Don't make things political. No. No, I don't want to get down that rabbit hole. I don't want to even go that direction. Not happening. Not doing it. So. It's fun just to get your goat. I I think that's one of your jobs, isn't it? Like, we've talked about how our hobbies turn into jobs, and I think you've made that a job of yours. Getting your goat? Yes. Some days. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's become a full-time job of yours. (laughs) That's... (laughs) Some days it just seems easier than others. Okay. <laughs> so I apologize that this was just a bunch of randomness. Sometimes we just don't have a, a lot specific, to talk about. A specific thing. Oh, we have a lot to talk about, but we don't have a specific topic. No, we didn't. We didn't have a specific topic. For and I keep bringing up the ivermectin because that's one of the things that we don't talk about is we don't get into political stuff. Right. This is not a political show, no. and we don't, we're not trying to pick sides or any of that kind of crap. No. So we hope everybody out there is staying healthy and taking care of themselves. Yes. Um, but other than that, we don't uh, we don't want to get into that arena. No. No. Absolutely not. So <laughs> thanks for checking out this episode of Morrison Madness. Hope it wasn't too boring. This is the total boring. madness, maybe? I don't, well, I don't even know what to title this one. Like, what's the topic? Random? Random. Random Madness. Hope it's not too boring. (laughs) Honey, it's never boring with you. You don't know. Maybe they wanted to learn about Mountain Dew and why you should always put Mountain Dew in a margarita because it's made with oranges. You never know. I don't. Maybe. Who knows? So maybe this randomness was, you know. Maybe. Not their cup of tea, so I apologize. (laughs) In any case, hopefully you are enjoying it. And if you are following us on the podcast you're enjoying this make sure you're also checking us out on facebook we have a facebook page and a facebook group facebook page is morrison madness i think the facebook group is madness members or something along those lines um you can get to it from the page and then uh we're also on instagram and twitter and if you're on youtube make sure you're liking and sharing commenting on youtube that helps us out greatly to be seen on podcasts i'm not really even sure how you get noticed on podcasts just tell your know. friends. We're on TikTok, but we have yet to make a TikTok video. I posted a TikTok video to today. What? To my TikTok. Yeah, Morrison Madness has a TikTok. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know you created one. Yeah. I'm not sure We why follow a couple people. We do? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Don's in charge of the TikTok, and that is scary. <laughs> well, we follow the fat electrician. I didn't even know there was such if a thing. If you're a service member, you should check him out. He rocks prior service member if you've ever been any part of the service or had a family member in the service you should check out the and, fat electrician in the TikTok. military service you mean yeah okay no in the electrical service well that's yes what in the I military like, service <laughs> when you said he was a serviceman i was thinking electric service like he, he no he doesn't go company. he doesn't go hook people's electricity up well he might but that's not what the tiktoks are about gotcha so if you're ever in the armed forces gotcha any branch you should check him out it's good stuff okay so semper fi <laughs> Oh, All right. Should we wrap it up? I think so. All Thanks right. for checking in, and hopefully we will catch you on our next podcast. Take care.